What's going to happen with the, that contract? I, is the government going to make some more concessions, or are they we in for the long haul? I think we're in for the long haul. I almost wouldn't expect for this to go. Uh, I, I would think that probably late spring, early summer is my prediction for how long this is going to go mm -hmm. on for. I don't think we're at a critical juncture anytime soon. I've been chatting with my contacts. I still have a few <laughs> contacts uh, mm -hmm. uh, kicking around. and. Uh, I think today there was a pretty fundamental announcement by the Premier said that he's not going to guarantee full day kindergarten past this next fiscal year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, I was part of a government. Full day kindergarten is a pretty innovative program. Arne Duncan, who was Barack Obama's uh, education uh, secretary, uh, was in, in Ontario numerous occasions, particularly looking at full day kindergarten and high skills major, particularly for African American schools. Uh, to, uh, to give them a real lift um, in the United States. Interesting enough, Premier Legault in the province of Quebec is about to introduce full day kindergarten in the province of Quebec uh, based on the Ontario model. It is a great public policy success story and um, by Premier Ford announcing this today, uh, it's you going think, to be very difficult. Was that an announcement today? Is that an intended jab at the teachers to say we're not giving in and get ready? Well, I think what it is, it, it's uh, you're digging in on both sides now. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard for me to believe that EDFO or the elementary panel of the Ontario English Catholic Teachers Association, um, a lot of teachers involved in full day kindergarten. Uh, Charles Pascal uh, was very involved in the implementation program. And the data is there to show how successful it is. So um, I think this is uh, heading uh, towards a showdown. Uh, I would be tell surprised within the next six weeks there will be a full provincial wide strike of all the federations. See, I do you I see a full strike coming? I don't see a. F I see all the unions striking at the same time. I don't see all the unions striking five days a week. Full time. I, I mm -hmm. think the one day strikes are probably how they're going to go because I think the unions know who they're up against. Public opinion too, right? Yeah, public opinion is definitely on the side of the teachers on this one, which is unusual for teacher strikes. I think because the one day strikes aren't too, uh, they don't mm -hmm. put a lot of, they don't put, uh, they're not too onerous on parents. It's kind of like you have a, a couple more PA days than you normally would. Right. Um, so it's it's not too bad. So I think they realize that if they do the full-time strike five days a week, they're, they would probably lose some of that public opinion. And I know the Ford government, they did this kind of $60 a day kind of refund to, to help parents mm -hmm. pay for child care. Um, but not, I think only but a quarter. Finding child care is. Finding child care and only a quarter of well. parents actually took up that offer. Yeah. There's still three quarters that have not applied for that money. But some of your most talented young teachers are involved in full day kindergarten. That's exactly what your public education system needs. And I, I don't see EDFO or the elementary panel of the Ontario English Catholic Teachers Association giving in on full day kindergarten. I mean, this is mm -hmm. a real line in the sand. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got, I, compared to, I think, online learning, which I think is going to fizzle out on its own, I don't think the unions really have to stretch that point very far. But full-day kindergarten, I think, is, uh, is uh, a real line in the sand. 